Hey, this is Mr. Mason and what we're going to do in this video is practice working with percentages that are displayed in a pie chart. So the problem reads, the pie chart shows the favorite types of fruits chosen by 160 students. Determine how many students chose each fruit as their favorite. All right, what we're going to do first is we're going to determine how many students chose some other fruit as their favorite. Now, the pie chart says that 10% or 10 out of every 100 students chose some other category as their favorite. And we have to figure out how much that is equal to out of 160. Now, whenever dealing with 10%, that just means you're taking the total of something and making it 10 times smaller. So all we have to do is take this total, move the decimal one space to the left, and that will make it 10 times smaller. So we would say that 16 students chose some other fruit as their favorite. Now, what we should remember now is this. Because 10% for this pie chart represents 16 students, we know if we double 10, we would have to double 16. Now, if you take a look at the category of grapes, we can see that 20% chose that as their favorite. And because we know that 16 represents 10%, we just double 16, which is 32. Now let's go on to 30%, which is what percentage of the students chose apples as their favorite. We know that 30 is three times bigger than 10%, which means three times as many students chose apples as their favorite. So we're gonna take 16 and multiply that by three, which is 48. All right, we don't have any more multiples of 10. However, we do have multiples of five. So we can manipulate our percentages a little bit to determine the value. So let's take a look at oranges. It says that 15% of the students chose oranges. Now, to figure out what that is out of 160 students, we can just kind of take a look at 10 and 20. 15 is right in the middle of 10 and 20. So all we have to do is figure out what number is in the dead center of 16 and 32, and that would be 24. So 24 students chose oranges as their favorite. And now for the last category, bananas, 25% of the students said that they chose bananas as their favorite. All right, so out of 160, that is going to be the number exactly in between 32 and 48 because 25 is directly in the middle of 20 and 30. And the number in between 32 and 48 would be 40. Now, it just so happened that the numbers provided with this problem worked out nicely. They don't always play this nicely. So in the future, what you could do is take 160 and just multiply it by whatever the given percentage is. For example, if you wanted to find 10% of 160, you would just multiply this by 0.1. Or if you wanted to find 25% of 160, you can multiply this by 2.25 and so forth. But it just so happened that the numbers worked out nicely for this particular problem.